positive and negative numbers. Sea level refers to the mean or average height of the ocean's surface. We use sea level to describe the height of geographical features, such as mountains and trenches. Mount Everest, Earth's highest mountain, is 29,029 feet above sea level. Since sea level is represented by the integer zero, Mount Everest's height would be represented by the integer positive 29,029. The Mariana Trench, the deepest part of the world's ocean, is 36,070 feet below sea level. When writing this height as an integer, we use a negative symbol to show that the Mariana Trench is below sea level. The integer negative 36,070 can be used to describe the height of the Mariana Trench. If we were to put Mount Everest into the Mariana Trench, would Mount Everest's height reach sea level? No. The Mariana Trench is deeper than Mount Everest tall. We use positive and negative numbers to help us describe and understand quantities that have opposite directions or values. Positive and negative numbers are used to describe much more than sea level. When describing temperature, you may have heard someone say that the temperature is minus 10 degrees Celsius. This means it is 10 degrees below zero degrees outside. And since zero degrees Celsius is freezing, brr, that's cold. Positive and negative numbers are also used to describe money. Think about this. Would you rather have $10 or negative $15? 15 is more than 10, but is negative $15 more than $10? What does negative money mean? Negative $15 means that you are in debt $15 or you owe $15 to someone. You would rather have $10 than owe $15 because minus 15 is less than 10. Most number lines you've seen start at zero. However, just as there are an infinite number of positive numbers after zero, there are an infinite number of negative numbers before zero. In fact, zero is the only number that is neither positive nor negative. In this lesson, you learned how positive and negative numbers are used to describe quantities in the real world.